What is up awesome people and welcome to the amazing world of Pokemon. My name is Lady Crimson and people call me a Poketologist. This world is inhabited by many creatures called Pokemon. To Poketologists like me, Pokemon are our friends. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. Myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. But we don't know everything about Pokemon and there are still many mysteries to solve. That's why I study Pokemon every day. So without further ado, let's get started with today's Pokeology lesson. Who's that Pokemon? It's Martina! Mighty Eater is a dark type Pokemon that stands at 3 foot 3 inches tall and weighs an 81.6 pounds and can be both male and female. Mighty Eater also belongs in the field egg group along with probably some of the best breeding partners for Mighty Eater, which include Mawal, Gramble and Statlin who can pass on the three elemental fangs and play rough to Mighty Eater. Mighty Eater is a quadrup Pokemon that is based on a hyena. Its body is a mixture of black and grey fur with black lower legs, clawed feet and tail. It is a dark triangular streak pattern below its eyes, which have yellow scurla and red irises. Its ears are rhombus shaped with dark insides, its nose is red and has grey paw pads. And to top it all off, that awesome shaggy mantle of black fur. Plus a cute smile, I mean look at it, it's so cute! Anyways, Mighty to live in a pack in the wild. As a member of this pack, it follows the orders of its leader and chases down prey. It gives obvious symbols when it's about to attack as it starts to growl deeply and flattens its body. Mighty to defeat foes with perfectly coordinated teamwork. If its trainer is very experienced, it will always obey their orders. Mighty Eater is prone to licking the faces of the people it is fond of, as a dog would. This species live in grassland areas. Mighty Eater has access to three abilities. Intimidate and Quick Feet are Mighty Eater's normal abilities, while its hidden ability is Moxie. For those newcomers to the vast world of Pokemon, here is a quick rundown of what these abilities do. First, we have Intimidate, which lowers the opponent's attack by one stage when Mighty Eater enters the battle. In double battles, both opponent's attack is lowered. Pokemon with Clear Body, Hyper Cutter or White Smoke ability are unaffected by Intimidate. Next is Quick Feet, which increases Mighty Eater's speed by 50%, or by one stage, when induced with a status infliction, such as Burn, Poison, Sleep, frozen, or paralysis. If Mighty Eater is paralyzed, the speed drop is ignored. And finally, we have Mighty Eater's hidden ability, Moxie, which raises Mighty Eater's attack by one stage when Mighty Eater knocks out another Pokemon. Mighty Eater's name origin is a pretty obvious one, with a combination of the words Mighty and Hyena, while its Japanese name, Guraina, is a combination of Growl and Hyena. Looking at Mighty Eater's dex entries, we see Mighty are constantly being described as a loyal Pokemon to any skilled or talented trainer, or being portrayed as a Pokemon who works in packs of 10 to skillfully defeat their foes with perfectly coordinated teamwork. In Pokemon Ruby, its text entry reads, Mighty Ina gives obvious signals when it's preparing to attack. It starts to growl deeply and then flattens its body. This Pokemon will bite savagely with its sharp pointed fangs. For Pokemon Sapphire, its text entry reads, Mighty Ina travel and act as a pack in a wild. The memory of its life in the wild compels the Pokemon to obey only those trainers that it recognises to possess superior skill. Moving on to Pokemon Emerald, Mighty Eater's dex entry reads, In the wild, Mighty Eater live in a pack. They never defy their leader's orders. They defeat foes with perfectly coordinated teamwork. And from Fire Red and Leaf Green, it will always obey the commands of a skilled trainer. Its behaviour arises from its livings in packs in ancient times. For the 4th generation games, Mighty Eater's dex entry for Diamond, Pearl and Platinum reads, It chases down prey in a pack, and will never disobey the command of a skilled trainer. And for Heart, Gold and Cell Silver, it chases down prey in a pack of around 10. They defeat foes with perfectly coordinated teamwork. 5th generation games, Black and White and Black and White 2, Mighty Eater's dex entry reads, It chases down prey in a pack, it will never disobey the commands of a skilled trainer. And finally, its 6th gen dex entry for Pokemon X reads, It will always obey the commands of a skilled trainer. Its behaviour arises from its living in packs in ancient times. And for Pokemon Y, it chases down prey in a pack of around 10. They defeat foes with perfectly coordinated teamwork. 
Now, before we look at battle strategies for Minina, let's look at Minina's evolution tree. Minina is a fully evolved form of Poochyena, who evolves into Minina at level 18. So now it's time for some 6th generation competitive sets for Minina. The following sets are the sets that I personally use for Minina, so some may be quite gimmicky, however quite fun to use nevertheless. First up, we have what could be possibly the most common set you'll see on Mightyena, and that is the Revenge Killing Physical Sweep on Mightyena. I highly recommend running Life Orb in this set to boost Mightyena's attack from 306 to 367. Or you can run Focus Dash to guarantee a Howl boost, which will bring Mightyena's attack to 459. Adamant Nature is strongly recommend on this set to bring Mightyena's attack to 306, thanks to that nice base stat in Mightyena's attack. Jolly is not recommended due to mining in his below average speed, a stat of 262 with Jolly, which even then will not outspeed many Pokemon. Mining in heavy relies on Sucker Punch, which can be a double edged blade for Mining It can hit opponents hard and even scoring a Moxie boost on already weakened Pokemon. However, this can lead to Mining being extremely predictable, easily countered, and PP stalled due to Sucker Punch having a minimum of 5 PP or at max 8 PP. Playrough is an absolute must as Mightyena is walled by other dark type Pokemon such as Physically Defensive Spiritomb or non scarf Pangoro, and not only walled but countered by fighting type Pokemon, which would become a huge threat to Mightyena if they carry Choice Band Mac Punch. A careful prediction of a swap in from any dark type or fighting type Pokemon can often leave them with a massive dent to their health. Playrough can also help Mightyena overcome bulky Evolite Pokemon such as Relius or Dragonair. Ice Fang is mainly there for type coverage, hitting ground, flying, grass, and dragon for super effective damage. For Marty in his 4th slot, you can go either Howl or Fire Fang for that extra bit of coverage against any pesky Mawilves that want to switch in on Marty Ina, or just for any bulky Steel types or Ice types that get in Marty in his way. Next set is a Choice Band set, which is another common set seen on Marty Ina. This gives Marty Ina automatic Howl boost, which frees up a move slot to make way for moves like Crunch or Fire Fang. I personally recommend Crunch over Fire Fang, as Crunch hits harder thanks to Stab and higher base power, plus the added chance of a defense drop. I will also point out Fire Fang's 65 base power and 95 accuracy, which may not sound bad at all, but can cost you a moxie boost if it does miss the kill. Though the 10% chance of inflicting a burn or causing an opponent to flinch is a nice bonus as well. However, you will find yourself locking yourself into Sucker Punch 90% of the time. Now we're moving into more personal sets of mine that you may not suspect to be used when versing Mightyena. The first set I will mention is a Choice Scarf set. Choice Scarf is an awesome item to run on any Moxie Pokemon, especially an adamant Mightyena, boosting a speed to amazing 358, outspeeding a whole bunch of non scarfed Pokemon. Thanks to this speed boost, Mightyena does not need to heavily rely on Sucker Punch and can sweep using Crunch or come in a revenge kill with Play Rough. Again, Ice Fang is thrown onto this set for that nice coverage, leaving Mightyena's 4 slot open to Me First or Fire Fang. Me First may sound like an absolute gimmick, especially for Mightyena. However, Me First gives Mightyena a fighting chance up against powerful non scarf Outrage users such as Garchomp or even up against powerful bulky Dragon Pokemon like Dragonite. The element of surprise could turn the tables of battle into your favour. And how can we forget that 50% boost on the base power of the move Mightyena copied? Lastly, we have a Quick Feet set, and I will admit this is an absolute gimmick of a set that Pokemon like Earthstrain can pull off much better. Regardless, it's a little fun set to use. This set allows Mighty Ina to gain the same speed boost it would gain from the Choice Scarf set, but with the added bonus not being locked into a move. However, it does come with a cost not being able to stay in due to residual damage from Poison, and you will lose a chance to boost your attack further with Moxie. Protect on the first turn to activate your Toxic Orb, which activates Mighty Ina's Quick Feet. Then sweep with Crunch, Play Rough, or Facade as you seem fit. The best way to utilize this set would be purely as a revenge killer for non scarf Pokemon. Come in for the kill, and then swap out. Finally, to wrap up this section, here are some other ways you can run your Mighty in a set. Alongside Life Orb and Choice Band and Scarf, Mighty can utilize Expert Belt, Black Glasses, or Dread Plate. Expert Belt gives a boost of power of moves whenever they are super effective to mask for a Choice Band. However, the power difference between Expert Belt and Choice Band is huge and almost noticeable. Black Glasses or Dread Plate can be used to boost the power of Crunch and Sucker Punch by 20%, but again, the power difference between Kong and Life Orb or Choice Band is huge. Move-wise, Mighty Ina can utilize Thunder Fang for any bulky water types, or for any Crawdon or Sharpedo swap-ins, though Play Rough will hit these guys much harder. Running Poison Fang is an option as well if you want to hit any Fairy swap-ins. 
Though due to Poison Fang's base power of only 50, it is not recommended. When planning to use Mighty Eater in battle, I suggest bring a Ghost type to take any fighting type moves, especially any Mac punches throw Mighty Eater's way, or any Fire type Pokemon, or better yet, Flash Fire Pokemon, to absorb any Will O Wisp, as Will O Wisp will cripple Mighty Eater if you have no Moxies or Howls up, or not using a Choice Band set. And don't forget your fairy walls to take any predicted moon blasts or dazzling gleams thrown at you. And one final note to help you with Mighty Ina is this. Do not forget about Mighty Ina's paper thin defenses and terrible health. This Pokemon is not designed to take hits, so don't be too surprised if Mighty Ina is one shot at most of the time if you're not running Focus Sash on him. And with that, you should be ready to bring your own Mighty Ina into the heat of the battle. Finally, before I end my lecture on Mighty Ina, here is some trivia on Mighty Ina in regards to its design origin. Mighty Ina shares some similarities with both wolves and hyenas. Although the design may have been influenced by domestic breeds like the German Shepherd Dog, a breed with personalities that are heavily influenced by their owners. German Shepherds also commonly come in black and grey colorations. Its appearance may also be based on a brown hyena. Mighty Ina's appearance as well as the fact that it is a pack animal is reminiscent of a spot hyena. And with that, that is the end of today's Pokeology lesson on Mighty Ina, third gen's awesomely cute bite Pokemon. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions for Pokemon you want to see featured in this series, leave them in the comments below. And while you're at it, make sure to bite that like button and subscribe to keep up to date with future Pokeology videos. And as always, thank you for watching. And with that note, this is Lady Crimson saying ciao for now, but not forever. Ciao!